alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. His adversary coming out of Detroit. The Warrior. They've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Well, and that's exactly what he deserves. The ref getting involved, warning him for the headbutt. Flush right hand to the head. A stinging uppercut by Kid Dynamite. The Warriors done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. Good, solid right hand lands. The Warriors' legs can't fail him now. Oh my, is he taking damage. Way to block there. What a big shot. Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. One, two. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Little head knocking with that right hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Kid Dynamite's in the position he wants to be in. Scored the knockdown, now back in the corner, resetting things. The Warriors, fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body and then that right hand. Good body shot. The right hand came home. The Warriors left now getting into the mix. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. The Warriors, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. Good shot to the head with that right hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. That is a big, solid, and he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, He's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. The Warriors doing well here with that two-punch combination. Kid Dynamite's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Good defensive hey, skill with the block by up. Kid Dynamite. The Warriors showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo.
staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. The Warriors landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighters. You have to know the temperament of your fighters. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. The Warriors so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Kid Dynamite's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch scored. Double up on your punches. Keep working the jam. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Comes right back at him with the left hand. The Warriors' defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. On the mark with the straight left hand. Clean shot with the right. Right to the belt line. Off target with that hook. The Warriors combination punching is working well here. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. And they do it. Oh, the uppercut coming, all right? Kid Dynamite's up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished himself to any great amount so far. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. He scores with the jab there. He just missed that shot up top. Kid Dynamite's in a very nice rhythm right now, landing the uppercut on the... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. The Warriors being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. Fine looking right hand by Kid How about that left right there? Did you see that? How is this going to go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good combination to the body. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Parries the punch, puts one in there. Kid Dynamite's punch is far off the target. There he is on the inside, doing well. The Warriors putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. That is a huge headshot after blocking his opponent. The Warriors not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. There's a good right hand. Don't fight his fight, Jan. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course you have that great call, do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. 
what the old timers want to see combination punching by Kid Dynamite. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Dynamite's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. The Warriors able to land a good, solid left hand. Close the distance. Halfway through this round here, a well-placed overhand right. The Warriors' lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on. And he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Kid Dynamite's hit by that power shot. The Warriors hit up top hard. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The Warriors got to deal with a cut cheek. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. The Warriors' legs look shaky. He was hurt. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this guy? The round comes to an end. And for one fighter here, the fight may come to an end, Teddy, if something doesn't change real quick. I mean, you can just look at him and see that he's in rough shape. Well, look, sometimes it's your responsibility as a cornerman, as a trainer, to come up with some advice technically on how to change things. Sometimes it's about stopping a fight. Maybe the best thing right now is that corner has to start thinking about maybe enough is enough. Looking to the body. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. That is a sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. The Warriors, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Kid Dynamite's ability to utilize this jab, fighting on the outside, has been so critical in what we've seen on the scorecards so far. Why so, Ted? Because it's not a common jab. You know, he reminds me, believe it or not, of Hector Camacho, the former junior lightweight champion, because he throws a trip hammer jab. You know, usually you turn that jab over, you know, counterclockwise, but he doesn't turn it over. He just drops it down. It just drops straight down. There's no warning, and boy, it's been landing. The Warriors, once again, the target of a hook. Accurate with the straight left. The Warriors' right hand scores well that time. Listen to me. You're getting caught up. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Kid Dynamite's able to land a nice, clean left hand. The Warriors swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Kid Dynamite's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Using those feet, using that jab on the outside well. And you know what? He used his head early in the fight because he went inside, which is really where he's set up for, and he got his opponent's respect. And now that respect is paying off because he's being allowed to stay on the outside and control things. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Now there's the jab. I shake it off. 
Up top with the right hand. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Kid Dynamite's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good job on the two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Targeting that straight left hand. Come on, kid. Solid right by Kid Dynamite. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. You know, it's not always as simple as who throws more punches as we start round number eight and we look at your scorecard. Kid Dynamite's been the more effective fighter. The punches he is throwing, those punches are getting things accomplished. And he's also proven something that I've said before, that sometimes aggression is a state of mind. You know, it's not really a physical state. And that's what he's doing. You know, he's fainting him a little bit. He's controlling the outside. He's not always walking forward. But he's doing what he wants to do and making his opponent do what he wants him to do. Yeah, good work. Nice block by Kid Dynamite. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Halfway through this round. There's that overhand right. The Warriors now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming. And the rain's coming from the side. And you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kid Dynamite. The Warriors putting forth a great combination there. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Kid Dynamite. And the round comes to an end. The Warriors' corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a quarter man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. upstairs targeting a left hand down low right back at you counter power punch it's hard to believe that he can win this fight on the scorecards that means it's do or die at this point you got to go for broke yeah that means that you got to come up with that Hail Mary pass now like when you that, come up with like that Hail Mary pass you don't just chuck the ball you have to have a receiver down there you have to make sure that he's running a certain route Right now, he's got to look for one spot. Something to land that shot. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Good work putting the punches together. Bang, bang, bang by Kid Dynamite. One of the best. And bang, and away he goes. Unable to handle that combination. He is down on the canvas.